Right, welcome to Rugby ABCs. Um, in this one, we'll be learning how to catch the high ball in rugby. So, uh, you know, very useful for wingers, fullbacks, yeah, or for anyone really. So, let's get into it. So, some of the basic things you'll want to remember are to keep your eyes on the ball the whole way through until you catch it. Um, don't worry about the defenders. Uh, you may be scared about getting hit when you come down. But remember, you can't be tackled in the air. Uh, if they tackle you while you're in the air, it's a penalty. And if you're worried about people coming on and uh, smashing you when you land, just remember that if you don't catch it, if you fumble it, they'll still um, they'll still tackle you. So you should really focus on just trying to secure the ball. Because if you have the ball, then at least you have possession instead of fumbling the ball, losing it, and then still getting smashed. So those are some things to remember. So what you want to do, when the ball's up, you don't want to just let it come to you. You want to sort of attack the ball and jump to it. Um, you want to try, you want to get to the ball, not let the ball come to you. Um, otherwise, there might be someone chasing the kick. You might jump and catch it above you, and they could go on and score a try or something like that, which you obviously don't want. So um, you jump to get the ball, but you need to time your jump. No good going like this and then catching it on your way down. Um, you're all no good like this, because you've just jumped and it, it's, the timing's not right. So this only comes with practice. So you just need to maybe get a partner, get them to kick it up high for you, and then just practice catching it. Um, if you're scared, just start off with lower heights. And as, as ne the next day, try a bit higher. Next day, get a bit higher. Little steps, and then you'll be able to catch a really high ball. Um, so just little steps, and soon enough, you'll uh, before you know, you'll be able to catch any high ball. Um, some things you can do to you know increase the efficiency is to uh, catch the ball side on. So if you're scared about knocking it on, if you catch the ball side on, and you knock and you spill it, there's a chance it will go backwards. Um, so if you and if you catch it forwards and you spill it. It's just going to be a knock on. So if you catch it sideways like this, then if you spill it, um, it it's not definite that it will go forwards. Um, remember to always call my ball or whatever your name is. So for me, it would be Finn's ball um, so that your teammates know that you're going to catch it and there's no people bumping into each other or two teammates going for the same ball and none of them getting it because. That is just, uh, it's not helpful and it's its just a waste. Some things to remember as well are to uh, try, just in general, just try and land on your feet and be aware that there will be defenders chasing you. So don't catch it and then take your time and just think about what you're going to do. You should be jumping up to catch it and then you should be looking at what you can do, either a turn kick uh, passing it to a teammate, or you a counter attack, something like that. Um, some things you can do, if you catch in your own 22, you can catch the ball, put your hand up and say mark, um, then you get a free kick on the spot where you called mark. This can be very useful in high pressure situations. Another thing to do when you're catching the ball is raise your knee. Uh, this sort of protects yourself in some way, so when you catch it, don't just jump straight up like this. Try and jump, like bring your knee up. Um, so that's something to remember as well. So some ways to train this are just to, just if you're on your own, throw the ball up and catch it. So if you're still not too familiar with catching high balls, you don't need to start out with a jump. You can just catch it. But remember, you don't want to be catching like this, you want to try and guide it into your body because when, because if you've got that form, then when you get to higher balls, uh, then you'll be, you'll have the correct form and you'll be able to do it easily. So, like this, guide it into your body. So, like that, because you don't want to be catching it like this. If you're jumping and catching it like that, like that, it's no use. So you need to start low. Get the technique right, um, and then 
So start low, get the technique right, and then once you've got that, uh, then you can progress to like higher kicks, stuff like that. Because if you don't get the technique right, when you get to higher kicks, you won't be as experienced in judging the flight of the ball. So you might misjudge it, and the ball might be behind you, and you jump, and you have to catch it like this, and then you're really exposed, you'll get smashed, probably a knock on. So that's something you don't want to do. You want to, you want to have your form correct with lower heights like this, and then move to higher heights.